In this video, I'll be showing you how to customise your login screen of Ubuntu to make it look something like this. So I've got a nice fancy background, I've got rid of the guest account and remote login, I've renamed it to Crashy 13.10 because that was what it was doing earlier in the day, and I've changed the font at top here. Although annoyingly, it doesn't change the font here. Hmm. What a shame. But yes, I'll be showing you how to do all that. Uh, now there will be a quite a bit of terminal usage here. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Now I think you could have used Ubuntu Tweak, but that's not around for 13.10 at the moment. I'll start with backing up the old lightdm config file. Now we'll change a couple of the defaults. So you can just pop that command in and it'll give you a list of the options available. So we'll get rid of dash L, the allow guest and type in false. And I'll also get rid of the remote login, which was dash capital R and set that to false. Right, let's clear the screen. Incidentally, that's control L to do that if you're interested. Now to start fudging a temporary logon for Light DM. And I'll switch over to the Light DM account. Well, that's just one of many commands that you can type in where you've got draw grid. Mm, yeah. But there's quite a lot you can do. So I'm going to be a little bit naughty here and type in deconf editor. Now I know a lot of people will say, whoa, that's the wrong way to do that. But it's the easy way to do it. I'll go across to com canonical unity greeter and I'll just reset everything I did earlier. You can just set to default if you want to set it back. So if you don't like one of the changes you made, it's quite easy to get rid of. Okay. Let's start with the background. I need another terminal window now. Change across into my downloads folder. List of files and I'm after the swirl one. I want to move that into the user share backgrounds folder. So I'm going to do sudo cp copy swirl. So I just start typing and then press tab to autocomplete. User share backgrounds that'll do. And in my pictures folder I've got that joke logo. I'm going to leave that off for the moment. Incidentally if you want to create your own you'll need a custom image of 245 pixels across by 43 pixels high and in a PNG format. The background as far as I know can be either JPEG or PNG. Alright so let's type all those in. So I am after well, dot jpg. I don't want the draw grid anymore. I'm not going to go for the draw user backgrounds. I'll leave the font size as default, Ubuntu space 11. Um, I'm going to get rid of that login sound as well. I don't like it. And that's it. Let's close that. And you can exit. All right, now we need to restart like DM. One way of doing that. Go to a TTY1, sudo service light dm stop, and then light dm start. But that's not always been reliable for me, so I'm just going to take the easy route of restarting the computer. That Plymouth boot screen is one of the ones available in the Ubuntu repository. It's quite easy to change. So I've got no guest account, no remote login, the Ubuntu logo is back to how it was and the font's back to how it was. So that's how to customise your login screen in Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, see you later.